Good Monday morning. It's uh, Monday, August 14th, and I've got six orders to pull this morning from the weekend. And uh, 401 items, 165 lots. It's almost about $200, which is uh, fairly good for me. So I'm going to get this uh, pulled, and then I'm going to do some sorting. And then uh, we'll, tackle, we'll tackle something today. Probably, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, what, what comes up. All right, I got my orders out and I uh, pulled the Ninjago uh, eBay inventory down. I'm going to try to get some of this listed. Uh, I did do about an hour, hour's worth of sorting here. I got the uh, Pleats Modified bin up in washing. And look, I've already <laughs> filled up quite a bit. I think Technic will be next. Uh, it's funny, the system, I'm, all, I'm already falling behind. I've got the building um, parts over there waiting to be listed. I've got these plates waiting to be listed. I've got, uh, what's this? The uncategory stuffed waiting to be listed. And then upstairs I've got the uh, plates modified washed, uh, being washed and uh, waiting to come down. And that'll be waiting to get listed starting tomorrow. So uh, yeah, and did I mention today is my first day back at work and so I only got like maybe maybe another hour or so of you know full time work that I can do, and then it's like hit or miss throughout the day. So not a lot of, gonna be able to get done in a day with with work going on. Work's been funny. Even while I was uh, sorting, I was watching some uh, recorded meetings and stuff to try to get caught up. And uh, when you go to, go on vacation, you get a new manager, and that's what happened. I went on vacation and I have a new manager. So there, there you go. That's what, 30, 30 since I started? I don't know, I lost track at 20. All right, I listed the entire box of uh, Ninjago uh, inventory, eBay inventory. So there are 38 items, 29 different minifigures here, and it's uh, about $178. So we'll get this put away. All right, I started working on a uh, initial sort of these uh, building pieces, which are mostly like doors and windows and some cylinder pieces and some panels and yeah. Anyways, the hardest part of this is getting all these uh, these panels out of here. Took me a little while to figure out how much force you need, really need to to do that. So, um, yeah, just going through this and then I'll go back to work. And maybe come back over here on a break. My goal is to try to get this all listed today before, or like, probably not during work, but it'll make good headway during work. So, you know, now this one, this one's one of those panels that I don't think it comes out. It looks like it's built into it. Anyway, that was confusing. Um, yeah, so get this uh, all listed by the end of the day. That's my goal. And then uh, hopefully uh, I can then move on to working on getting a good initial sort of uh, all those plates that are sitting down there before tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll work on, I'll work on plates. So that's what I'm doing. Watching another recorded meeting from work and uh, was able to uh, get all this parted out and separated. Now I just need to count and list it. Then I can put it away. So, uh, actually, ha only halfway through my meeting, so that, that went pretty quick. All right, uh, meeting has ended, and while I was watching and listening, I uh, was able to list these 37 lots. They are ready to be put away, and I'll probably put them away next before I move on to the rest of all this. So, those 37 lots, 118 items, 26.56. Not bad for uh, small model lots. And I think only one of these lots, two, two of these lots, I have. So, 35 new lots out of that. Well, it's Tuesday morning, and I got all this into a file, but now i got to put it away before I can pull my orders, which I only have three. Three orders, but they're good size orders. I forget what the value is. I'll have to look it up in a second. But uh, let me get this put away. I think it's like 127 lots. And uh, I don't remember what the price. I don't know if I priced this up yet. 
it was late last night by the time I got done with this. So it was like 10.30, so. And um, I pushed myself just to get all this in the file. And then, then I quit. <laughs> that was it. That's all I could handle. All right, all those parts are put away. It's uh, 247 items, 121 lots. There was another put away yesterday. I don't remember if I filmed it or not. I probably did. Uh, but that was like uh, another 100 and some odd uh, parts and uh, what was it 90 lots maybe and uh, that was like $25 and this one is $57.64 so maybe about $80 so I'm finding about like the size of this equates to about 80 bucks I don't know the last two seem to be $80 so maybe I'm wrong on that but that's what it seems like was the bricks I don't remember maybe the bricks were higher Anyways, uh, I'm going to upload this, and then I've got my uh, three orders ready to go. I'm all switched over on my cart over there, so uh, ready to get, po get pulling. All right, orders are shipped. Time to start working on all these plates. I've got the single plates drawer out. I've got the large plate bin out. i got a empty bin for one by or two buys, and then uh, I'll use other containers for corner pieces and other weird weird shapes but uh let's uh let's get another sort done on this one well that was quick and here we go we've got uh four different categories here single plates uh big plates that's uh full bin there and then uh two by plates and then uh two by two corner pieces so i'll start here here and then work my way across it'll probably take me a few days to get through this, I, I would assume, especially with my work schedule and how much time I've got. So I might put off doing a day or two of doing sorting on the general here because this will be the next one that gets washed and it's almost full. And I'd like to at least get this out of the way a little bit before I uh, get some more categories because I got one up there and then I've got one on the floor over there drying. So. I don't want to get too far behind. All the corner pieces are listed and put away. About to upload 113 items, 14 lots, two of which are new to my store, seven dollars and twelve cents. So as I was putting them away, I'm like going, yeah, just because you don't have a lot of new lots doesn't mean you're at not adding quantity, which may push the number of pieces that somebody needs on their wanted list so that it shows up. So yeah, quantity also is a good thing not just variety quantity as well all right before moving on to more plates uh, i'm gonna try getting some of this listed this is the last of the whole minifigures so once i get through this box uh then it's parts out of the drawers but let's get some of these listed today and then i can move back on to doing some sorting there right, i got some various themes here um Batman, Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, Friends, uh, Galaxy Squad, Avatar, Superheroes, Castle, a whole bunch of stuff here. I stopped at 30 lots, um, 34 items here, and we still got quite a bit left to do yet. So I have four complete packs of Friends that I need to unpack and relist individually. That'll be fun. All right, got those uh, minifigures priced up and they are $176.96. And they are now available. And with that upload, let's do a numbers check real quick. Uh, let's see, scrolling a little. So we are at uh, 3, 347,041 items. Uh, we've been sort of holding steady. The order has been keeping it, keeping it there. The lots have gone up, uh, 14,153. So I, I mentioned this on Instagram, but I don't think I mentioned it on my vlog. We did reach milestone, uh, last week during, during last week's vlog. Uh, we did reach 14,000 lots for the first time. We dipped back below it and then we came back above it again. So... We are at 14,000 consolidated lots. 
Hey, non-brick separator society members, just wanted to uh, give you a little taste of what you might be missing. So, the last six videos in the brick separator society is uh, four of them are sales reports. Uh, April, May, June, we did those uh, all at once uh, about a month ago. We've got the July's sales report here. Uh, we did a Ask Ralph where uh, I answered the question of when should I leave feedback for my buyer, which was uh, very interesting. And then um, this this video seemed to be well received by the members, which is uh, BrickLink has uh, top 10 featured stores based on uh, sales for the month, as well as top 50 stores uh, based on sales for the month. But in the top 10, there was a new store, UT Brick. And so I did an analysis of that store and tried to figure out what they're doing uh, to be successful and uh, how they were successful, as well as some interesting findings that I found. So uh, if you're not a uh, Brick Separator Society member, you can hit join and you'll get this nice little uh, video explaining the what you get but what you want to get the videos is become a dark turquoise member not an orange member an orange member is just basically the sort of uh you're just supporting me uh dark turquoise you get all of the you get access to the secret brick separator society videos so 4.99 a month you can uh cancel anytime um even if you just want to try and join and then the next day cancel and uh, get the get the month without uh without committing you can do that as well and i uh, hope uh if you have any questions please please let me know and members if you are members please please leave a comment down below and uh let others know how you find the membership the society After that last upload of minifigure parts, it is the 15th of August, so I did take a look at uh, where I'm at with my goals, which these numbers over here are very helpful to tell me if I'm on track or not. And uh, I was at 1,500 parts upload goal and 500 lots. And so basically, uh, this is what these numbers here, this is how many parts I should be uploading per day to be able to reach 18. 100 parts or 18,000 parts uh, and I'm doing 636 so I had like I said I had this up at 15,000 parts so I upped it to 18,000 parts just because uh, let's let's be honest I was gonna I was gonna break it so let's let's have a higher goal so I reevaluated that goal 12 uh, I, have, I was at 500 parts um, and I'm already like beating this number 12,000 1200 parts um, when I only need 39 lots, um, I'm doing 51 average per day, new. And then uh, my, my value, 6,000, I'm trying to do 6,000 this month in just value of uh, parts being uploaded. And uh, I'm, I'm still below that. And I think that's because uh, I had six days of non-uploading when I was on vacation. So I kept that goal the same. Started to sort down the uh, two by plates. Just got uh, from two, three, four, all the way to 16 length. I'm just going through it. All right, I got all that sorted out, all the plate, two by plates sorted out, and I'm starting to count, or not count them, at least get them color sorted, and then I can count them later. All right, it's approaching nine o'clock. Got done with my last meeting of the night, and uh, came over here and did all of the counting and listing into a BSX file. There are 920 items, 116 lots, 10 of which are new to my store, but that's just because it's basic basic plates. I do these all the time. But the uh, the total amount is $64.19. This is where I'm leaving it for tonight though. I will be back in the morning and I put these away just like I did last night with uh, the building building stuff um, building parts uh, which are windows and doors and stuff so uh, that didn't take long and then I, I jumped right into orders and I'll do the same thing tomorrow as well so there it is 
All done. That's just two by plates, too. I still got, I think, down there. Yeah. I got the big plates, and then I put the I put the single plates back into the drawer. So I've got those le yet to do as well. Hey, it's uh, Wednesday, August, what is it, 16th? August 16th. And uh, I got five orders. I put those uh, plates away this morning and got them uploaded. And uh, I I decided to lower the price on those just because of how many I ha how much I had already it was filling up some of the drawers. So I made sure to lower the price. I need to get some of that moving uh, and turn turned over so that uh, when the next batch of two by plates comes along, that they'll they'll uh, have some room to to go. So it's time for those to go. So lowering the price a little bit. Uh, and they still have 10% off from uh, the vacation sale. So uh, this is a good good set of orders here. Almost about $200 worth, which is fantastic. It's only 50 lots too. So a lot of a lot of um, minifigures and minifigure parts are, are going in this. Not a lot of two by plates though. Uh, these last two came in while I was putting the parts away. So uh, let's get this done so I can uh, move on to uploading some more. Here's a look at the best order of the day, which was about $130 and 236 items and 30 lots. About 100, 100 uh, 2 by 2 blue bricks. A lot of uh, Ninjago minifigures, which they bought in bulk. Like Kai and Jay here, they bought all of them that I had. So it's put them in one big bag like this. Uh, a lot of Jay helmets or wraps. Um, yeah, a bunch of uh, minifigure parts in here, and some other stuff here. Even more 2x2 two two blue blue bricks. So thank you for the order. I appreciate it. All right, I pulled out the big plate bin. Here we go. Start to work through getting this all sort of uh, size sorted. And then we'll go through and list everything. Had a pretty bad morning this morning. I, uh, Woke up this morning, took the dogs out, and out in the road was a bir big bird. And so I thought it was dead. Went out to go move it with the shovel and the rake. Yeah, so it didn't get squished. And uh, it turned its head and looked at me. <laughs> it was an owl. Um, so that was that was unsettling, actually. So we called animal control, and it took him four hours to come. And uh, he just he just came and left. And uh, took it, took him. He's probably gonna euthanize him. Uh, he was pretty pretty bad up, bashed up. He had a broken side of his face and broken wing and a big gash in the back of his neck. So probably won't make it. But oh, man, what a bad bad morning. I was just thinking about that poor bird all, all morning and waiting for the the control, uh, animal control guy to come. Now that he's gone and he's gonna be taken care of the right way, I guess instead of out there suffering uh, I feel a little better uh, but it was a uh, sort of a, you know when you got dogs like I do I've got the I got the two mutts over there uh, you, you, you feel bad for animals no matter what no matter what kind of animal it is so that's how my morning went working through getting these plates listed I got uh, 164 of them done 35 lots, uh, nine, what, no, I wish, $972, that was grams, uh, 58, 63, so I'm gonna get these uploaded and then go to dinner, because it's getting late in the day, we did all of these tonight, got some more parts listed, this is 234 items, 45 lots, $81, and two cents and then I just got this left so we're getting there we're plowing through it all right I pushed through and I've got all the rest of those uh, listed into a file but I think I've ran out of energy for today and and it's also it's also 1040 at night so I am going to put this way in the morning that seems to work out <laughs> get it all listed throw it throw it up in the morning uh, after I get it all put away and then do my orders um, seems to work out pretty good so this is 281 items 69 lots 8179 actually so big plates are actually worth quite a bit 
and they're easy to sort. They just take up a lot of room in the drawers. So, hey, it's August 17th, Thursday. Two orders today, a couple bigger orders, uh, size wise, not monetarily wise. This one is like 525 items, 137 lots. Took me about a half an hour to pull. And it was only like $47, so yeah. And then this one is uh, smaller. Uh, it's, I think it's like 65 lots. I don't remember how many items it is, but it was like $20. So I'm gonna pull that one next. We got all of the plates put away this morning and now it's uh, order pulling time so we can get on to the next task. Just got the mail and I got a eBay minifigure lot in the mail today. So a uh, small, small lot. I think it was like 15 minifigures. Some of them are incomplete like this Marty here, but they look, uh, they look fantastic. Uh, look in brand new condition. Um, so I'm going to go through them. I paid $20 for this plus I think $5 shipping. So it wasn't bad. He had three, three auctions going at once. I, I bid on all three and of course I got outbid on two of them. So, and that they probably would have all been like this, which is, uh, disappointing that I didn't get the other two. So the other two, I, I did try to outbid them at the end. Uh, they went up to $30. So, <clears throat> we'll see. so I think I did all right. One, I got one. I've been bidding on some and I keep getting, I keep losing. <laughs> the people will pay too much money for, for stuff. I, I think Pops alluded to that a couple weeks ago in his vlog that people are willing to spend way too much money for what, what it's worth. And so, just got to keep uh, keep hunting and keep finding things and not not going too high I think and uh, that's what I did here all right this figure obviously Lord of the Rings Aragon wrong head wrong hair but in my uh, mini figures to build collection there I have an Aragon I have the hair and the head that'll pay this mini figure alone pays for that lot all right, got everything listed here. This is what it looks like. I've got uh, I got six minifigures out of that lot uh, that I'm able to do. That one's the winner, and that was because I was able to uh, complete it with parts that I had, but I needed the torso and legs, so that was uh, that was a great find actually. I got a Leonardo there. I got a Marty. The hair was in there. He was on a different different minifigure that didn't belong, so that was uh, that completed him. An astronaut guy, a veterinarian from a uh, collectible miniseries, a uh, Batman villain, I think that's what that is. And then a whole bunch of random uh, minifigure parts. And then I had this um, castle. Oh, I forgot what she is. Anyways, $15. So I did purchase a hair for her. And uh, of course, I can't just purchase a hair and pay $5 shipping. So I found a a seller that ha offers f shipping with $50. So I spent a uh, $54 uh, order for the hair, but I got a whole bunch of other stuff uh, at good prices. Actually, a fall man was the one that I, I placed the order with and um, he had a lot, he had like 20, a lot of things on 25% off. So uh, I did get a bunch of things in bulk. I got some minifigures. I got uh, the hair, this hair piece in bulk. So, uh, be able to put a bunch of stuff back into the store, but all of this here that's listed, uh, there's a few items that I do have obviously, but, um, 43 total items, 42 lots, $107 and 72 cents when it gets, gets listed. So time to start putting it away for $25. This came out pretty good. All right. I just got done sorting a bag of bulk into the bins here. Some interesting things. I still got a wash the Technic bin there. I wanted to wash in the the build parts again because I found a uh, shoe bin up uh, around the corner here of uh, windows and doors. So I dumped that in here and it filled it right up. So that is actually drying on the on the towel over there. Plates have filled up quick. Bricks have filled up quick, and this. So I've got like. I've got about three bins ready to go to get washed, but 
that bag that I just sorted out was the last bag I had in my drawers over in the other room. So I grabbed this box of bulk. Um, I looked at the ship date on the label. This came in in January. So it's been sitting around for eight months. I still have four boxes over there. You can see right there. So we are going to open this up, see what's in there, and get it bagged up, see if there's anything we can pull out of there uh, that we can use. I, to be honest, don't remember what, what was in this. It's been so long, but uh, hopefully there's some nice treasures. Here's a look at what was in the box uh, after I opened it and pulled everything out. So two bags of bulk. I like it when they do this. It makes it so that uh, the pieces don't fall around. But they did take some bigger pieces and just leave them in the box. This looks like junk, actually. It's uh, a lot of Mega Blocks and some some not great pieces. I'll just probably reuse this on my uh, minifigure stand that I'm building. There's a Yoda Jedi Starfighter. Uh, nice big uh, axle piece here. Lots of plates. So... We'll open this up. Here's the two bags in two separate bins. It's uh, it's kind of dirty. Uh, a little dusty. Here's a good example. Um, quite dusty. There's a few pieces that are quite dirty. Uh, overall, looks like it's in good shape, though. So it'll definitely need a good wash, uh, which I do anyways. Some pieces like this have a little bit more nicks on it than I, than I like. There is quite a bit of fake Lego in there, like this. This... A piece, a piece on top is pretty, pretty beat up. Probably won't get sold. I'll probably put it in my minifigure stand, but this one definitely not Lego. Can't even get it off with one hand. Um, it's probably Mega Blocks. Um, otherwise, nothing surprising in here. Just straight up bulk. Uh, there's a big Lego. So, I wonder how much of this is. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on these bags while. I'm, I'm doing it. So the next step for this is I'm just going to bag bag some small bags, some large bags, and just ready to grab and go. You know, my philosophy on that, I like to grab a bag and just work on that bag. It's a good uh, good way to just end, right? Uh, look at that. All chewed up. And this is probably like a C grade of quality here. Not the best. Not the best one I've ever got. Definitely. Not the worst, definitely. But uh, there's there's quite a bit of fake stuff. I'm pretty sure that's fake. I don't even know what that is. Doesn't even feel like Lego. So I'll probably go through this uh, one more time. But dinner's ready, so I'm gonna go run up and have some dinner. All right, I got the single plates out. I'm gonna do uh, another sort of these into all of the containers. I'm to size sort basically until uh, eight o'clock. It's 7:30 now, so. It clocks is when Madden 24 becomes available, and I pre-ordered it about a half an hour ago. And, uh, yeah, so when you got Josh Allen on the cover, you, as a Bills fan, have to buy it. That's, that's how I'm thinking of it. I hardly ever played Madden, so we'll see how this goes. Friday, August 18th, we've got one order, one lonely order, but this is where I left off last night with the sorting of the plates, the single plates, still got a lot left, uh, it took a long time. I think this is the first time that I've needed a 1x5 plate cup, I mean I don't have a lot in there, but I don't remember ever, ever getting 1x5s and used bulk before, so that's, that's interesting. All right. Pull on orders. All right, I didn't get much shooting done yesterday, but basically all day yesterday, uh, minus the time I was helping my wife uh, with her job yesterday for a little while, uh, I did all of this size sorting uh, of the one by plates, and I put them to the side for now. I, I, I um, 
got them all into uh, containers here and they're they're on the side and the reason why I'm not gonna go through and sort it any further is because I just got done washing more plates so I'm gonna wait for these to dry and then tomorrow I'll uh, get the one by plates out of it and put it into that uh, pile and uh, then I'll then I'll start going through this and, and listing them doesn't make sense to list it and then have another set of one by plates yet to do so uh yeah i got three orders today and to, these are large lots this one here i think is like 195 lots should be fun uh this one is 65 lots and this one is like 25 i think so uh a lot of pulling it's only about a hundred dollars worth though so yeah all parts first order as a note can you mark somewhere on or in the package pizza slice thanks well I get to use my uh, Republic Bricks feature that I built into my, my program here so I just pressed M and got this little message here it says message requested to print on the shipping label and I just typed in pizza slice so now instead of uh, on the second line of uh, the rubber stamp there in, in pirate ship instead of it saying the uh, envelope size It'll now say pizza slice. I did want to show the uh, envelope after I, uh, I got it printed. It does have the uh, order number and then pizza slice underneath it. Whereas other ones just say the uh, the envelope size so that I know uh, that when I peel the sticker off, I know which envelope to put it on. This order here, this was the biggest one of the day, and it was uh, 668 items, 195 lots. It took me 47 minutes and 38 seconds to pull, which is not bad, I don't think. It's 4.1 lots per minute. So, um, one thing I really loved about this order, which was, was a lot of the plates that I've been putting, uh, been listing this week. So a lot of two by plates, a lot of large plates. Um, just something satisfying about uh, selling used parts. I, I was thinking about it. It's like, for some reason, if like a new part, if somebody buys me out of a new part, for me, it just feels like, no, don't do that because I want I want some of that part left, where it takes a little bit more effort to you know um, find a set that has those parts and part it out and put it in where. With the with the used, I, as I was like, some lots that were being sold out, I was like, oh yeah, I'll just uh, re replenish that next time uh, that category comes up. It's just uh, just a different mindset, in, in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Here's an example where I think the recent change to ground advantage is uh, beneficial, actually. So this this with the with an envelope, I'm going to put in a number two padded envelope. Um, is one pound let's say four ounces so typically before ground advantage I would have to put this into um, either a box and ship it uh, cubic which would have been like eight nine dollars or I would have did a um, priority flat rate padded envelope which would have been eight dollars and thirty cents so with ground advantage uh, ground advantage cubic I get a uh, hundred dollars insured so just like um, uh, priority mail and then the price for that is six dollars and seventy one cents so huge that's huge savings so like dollar fifty less to send it uh, with ground advantage so I'm gonna do that I bet you're thinking all right, Ralph, now you got everything uh, shipped out. What are you going to work on today? You're going to work on these? You're going to work on a part out? Eventually. But I got two more orders, and I want to get them out before uh, uh, I, I go and ship them. And it's it's quite easy to, to pull. It's uh, two orders, obviously. Uh, 15 items, eight lots, but the total is fifty five thirty nine. So really great orders, uh, minifigures and minifigure parts. These are the kind of orders that are awesome. Here's the second order of the, the two, the batch. Is this this one uh, clone helmet with the wolf on the top there? That one went for 
$17.21. Not bad. All right, I think what I'm going to work on today is parting out three of these Justifier sets, which has 1,022 pieces. I think it has, I just created the file, 289 lots, so it's a, it's going to be a big set. I'll probably do a bag at a time just, just because then I can, like, work at it here and there without it overtaking everything. Um, it has 72 new lots to the... To the store so I am going to um, actually start on this first I'm gonna try to get some of this uploaded today uh, before I start this just so I have something uploaded today I I'm I'm of the mindset like just make sure you upload something every day and so uh, this is an easy upload I can get a few things there if not all of it done and then start on this and before I do this I have to mow the lawn <laughs> The lawn's got to get mowed. It looks kind of shaggy out there. So, uh, I will leave it here for the vlog. And uh, we will check in next time on how we did. Well, wait. This isn't the end of the video. There's more. We got to tell them about the society. Joining the Brick Separator Society gets you access to secret society videos like how to videos on how to run your business on BrickLink and Brick Owl and eBay, as well as Ask Ralph videos and maybe our sales reports. You might see all of our numbers. Join today.